Woof, bark, and howl, my furry friends. Gather round as I, the illustrious Pomeranian film critic, share my insightful take on the spooktacular cinematic masterpiece, Lisa Frankenstein. Picture me on my plush doggy bed, wearing 3D glasses over my fluffy fur. Do we put the 3D glasses on now, Dada? Ready to dish out some popcorn-worthy opinions. Well, that's your opinion, and it's her opinion, but it's not my opinion. First things first, this film is a howl arius romp directed by the talented Zelda Williams, the spawn of the legendary Robin Williams. It's her third venture into the director's chair, and let me tell you, she's barking up the right tree with this one. Can you guys stop barking? Set in the dog-eared pages of 1989, Lisa Frankenstein introduces us to a misunderstood teenage goth girl named Lisa. Lisa, it's your birthday! No, it's not! Armed with a broken tanning machine and a penchant for mischief, she brings a Victorian corpse back to life during a lightning storm. It's Oh, the things we do for love. The result? A Frankenstein wannabe molded into the paw effect partner for Lisa. We're lovers. Creating a dark and comedic love story that'll make your tail wag. Now, the movie's got all the elements of a spine-tingling romantic comedy with Halloween vibes, but there's one minor hiccup. I can't take this. No dogs or squirrels in sight. Can you believe it? I was expecting at least a cameo, maybe a Pomeranian chasing a spooky squirrel through a graveyard. Alas, it wasn't meant to be. It's not meant to be hilarious. It's supposed to be erotic. Despite the lack of canine capers, Lisa Frankenstein manages to keep you on the edge of your seat. Well, not literally because my tiny Pomeranian legs can't reach the floor, but you get my drift. The film's charm lies in its playfully morbid twists and turns, with Lisa and her undead beau embarking on a quest for love and a few extra body parts. You're looking for love and all the wrong fishes! It's a journey more exciting than a game of fetch in a graveyard. This movie promises a unique coming-of-age tale, blending familiar elements with surprising twists. Twist up! Twist up! The script is as sharp as my teeth after a good chew toy session and the visuals are vibrant enough to rival my shiny, fluffy coat. What of you guys have, like, a, a coat hanger? The soundtrack is pawsome. The soundtrack is like a treasure chest of musical gems, featuring tracks that will transport you back to the era of cassette tapes and leg warmers. Can you believe that 80s haircut I used to have? And oh, The Promise, by When in Rome is like the crown jewel of this sonic feast. Let the feast... Begin. This classic anthem sets the mood with its synth-pop beats and catchy lyrics. Kit, turn on your vocal synthesizer. It's the kind of song that makes you want to do a little dance, even if you're just a fluffy Pomeranian. Don't you little twat! Now, let's talk about Lisa, our goth queen. She breaks away from the typical damsel in distress trope. That girl looks good in glasses. And boy, did that resonate with me? Who needs a knight in shining armor when you've got a Frankenstein wannabe as a partner in crime, am I right? But let's not pretend everything's sunshine and rainbows. Ozzy, it's just a rainbow. It's a magic rainbow. The film occasionally stumbles over its own paws with a tone that's as inconsistent as my barks when the mailman shows up. Stupid mailman. The pacing can be a bit slow, like waiting for that treat to drop from the human's hand. Sit. Good boy. This movie is like waiting for a squirrel to make up its mind. Sometimes a bit slow. He might be a bit on the slow side. Leaving you wondering if it's ever going to get to the point. It's like when you're itching for a game of fetch and your human takes their sweet time throwing the ball. Sit, 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 sit. But hey, patience is a virtue, right? Just like Lisa Frankenstein had moments as slow as waiting for a squirrel to decide. Stupid squirrel. Our Yogi's Insta merch is the perfect cure for the impatience. Dive into comfort with our shirts, hoodies, and coffee mugs. Each purchase helps Yogi's Insta create more Pomeranian-powered movie reviews, be the trendsetter at the dog park, while supporting a unique perspective on cinema. Uh, uh, yes, as I was saying, I, I love cinema. Treat yourself and contribute to more tail-wagging adventures. Woof woof. In the end, Lisa Frankenstein is a cool concoction of teen comedy and horror, perfect for fans of both genres. You're really mixing genres. It's an okay movie that'll tickle your funny bone and make your tail wag with delight. For some afternoon delight. So, my fellow furry film enthusiasts, don't miss out on this hair-raising adventure. It's a real treat. Woof woof.